We first have to make sure that our new background image is packed into a Win32 file. Create a new folder called Deploy Background on C. Create a new folder called Output on C. Copy your new background to the Deploy Background folder. I name my background Background1. You can of sure name it different, but just keep the name in mind. Now we need to download the official Microsoft Intune Win app tool. Just search for it and click on the GitHub link. There, download the executable. Open the Intune Win app tool. In the Win app tool application, fill out the following. The source folder, C colon backslash deploy background. On the setup file, enter the name of the background. On the output folder, enter C colon backslash output and finish it with a no on the catalog folder. In your C colon backslash output folder, there should be a new Intune Win file. Go to intune.microsoft.com. Click on Apps. Click on Windows. Click on Add. Choose App Type Windows App, Win32. Click on Select. Click on Select App Package File. Upload your Intune Win file, which is located in C colon backslash output. Click on OK. Here you can change the settings. I leave it as it is. Don't forget to enter a publisher. Click on Next. Here we need to enter the install and uninstall command. We will use a PowerShell script to copy the background to the wallpaper folder. Just make sure you edit the wallpaper name. If you want to copy the install and uninstall command, Go check out the blog post in the description or go to wackastetch.com. The same with the uninstall command. Enter the URL of the wallpaper folder and add your background name. Make sure to set Allow Available Uninstall to No, and you can click on Next. On the Requirements tab, enter the setting as shown in the video. On the Detection Rules tab, click on Manually Configure Detection Rules. Click on Add. Choose the rule type to file, and enter the path as shown in the video. In the file or folder, enter your background name. For detection method, choose File or Folder Exist. Click on OK and Next. You can skip the dependencies. You can skip the supersedence. On the Assignments tab, assign the policy to a group or to all users slash all devices. Review and create the policy. We are almost finished with the process of how to deploy background with Microsoft Intune. In this section, we will create a configuration policy to apply the newly copied background. Create a new policy from the Settings catalog. Give it a name and click on Next. Click on Add Settings. Search for Desktop. Click on Administrative Templates backslash desktop backslash desktop. Tick the desktop wallpaper, user, setting.
On the left side, define the settings. The wallpaper name, enter the URL and your background name. Define your wallpaper style and click on next when you are finished. Assign the policy to users or devices and click on Next. On the Review and Create tab, click on Create. Congrats, you have successfully deployed the background. If you want to learn more, check out the blog post in the description.